First, let's get started on the pronunciation. Please listen and repeat. Burrow. Carnivore. Digest. Fossil. Layer. Mucus. Paleontologist. Pounce. Predator. Secrete. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ben Betterby, and you're amazing. This video is designed to help you both acquire and practice vocabulary important for the IELTS exam. Today's IELTS news is on the topics of biology and paleontology. And the lesson is two meter long meat-eating worms. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. In addition, check out the links below for a worksheet on this material and information on how you can study with me one-on-one -on -one or join one of our weekly group hangouts. Now let's keep going. Um, below you'll find the word bank. Uh, I'll read the definition and then pause for three seconds so you can pause the video, find out the answer, then come back and check. Noun, a place where wild animals sleep or hide. Lair. Noun, an animal that kills and eats other animals. Predator. Noun. A person who studies the parts of dead animals that have turned into rock over time. Paleontologist. Verb. To make a hole or a tunnel in the ground by digging. Burrow. Noun. The parts of a dead animal that have become hard and turned into rock over time. Fossil. Verb to produce a liquid substance. Secrete. Noun, a thick liquid that is produced in parts of the body. Mucus. Noun, any animal that eats meat. Carnivore. Verb, to move suddenly forwards in order to attack or catch something. Pounce. Verb, to break down food by changing it into substances that your body can use. Digest. Because blank study fossils, they are highly aware of the public's obsession with dinosaurs. Paleontologists. Many parasites, blank, down into the skin of animals and make themselves at home. Burrow. So you can either burrow into the ground or you can burrow into something else, such as the skin. I saw my dog chase a butterfly and blank into the air to catch it, but miss as the butterfly gently floated away. Pounce. It's usually a very aggressive action when you pounce on something, and you can use this outside of physicality, you can pounce on an opportunity as well. The largest blank on land are bears, while the fastest are cheetahs. Carnivores. So that's a meat-eating animal. Humans are omnivores because we can eat either meat or plants. Animals that only eat plants are called herbivores. The first animals with eyes were blank and used their vision to hunt other animals. Predators. Our sinus cavities contain blank to catch harmful bacteria and viruses and protect us from infection. Mucus. It's kind of a thick, slimy substance. You could describe a snail as having mucus, or maybe your snot if you have a runny nose. If you eat regularly scheduled meals, your body is better able to blank the food that you consume. Digest. You can also use digest for non-physical things. So when you digest information, it means you're taking it in absorbing it, thinking about it, understanding it. 
The skin of certain frogs blank a wide variety of protective chemicals that prevent predators from eating them. Secretes. So you can see there uh, in the picture, the best I could really find, <laughs> as when you secrete something, it comes out of you and it's a liquid or maybe even uh, something thicker like mucus. You could secrete mucus and some animals do that uh, to protect themselves. There are thousands of animals that are alive today that are no different from the way they look in blank from millions of years ago. Fossils. Early humans used caves as blank where they would hide from dangerous animals and harsh weather. Layers. And a lair is something that's kind of sneaky, kind of dark, a little evil. Usually a villain will have a lair. So you can see here the blanks and the words down below. So please take some time here to match the words from below to the blanks above. I'll give you three seconds and then I'll go through, read the article and reveal the correct answers. The underwater layer of a giant predatory worm that once lived on the ocean floor has been discovered by paleontologists from the National University of Taiwan. Experts used L-shaped burrows found within 23 million year old fossilized layers of seafloor to determine that the worms were just over two meters long and around three centimeters in diameter. The researchers also discovered high concentrations of iron at the opening of the burrows and now assume the worms were secreting some form of mucus from their mouths to support and possibly disguise the entrance of their homes. In order to catch their prey, the scientists believe that the carnivorous worms would wait until unsuspecting aquatic animals would swim by and then would quickly rise from the seabed and pounce on their prey. Finally, after pulling the animal down into its lair, the worms would slowly digest them. Thank you for watching. My name has been Better Be and you're amazing. If you like this content, please remember to subscribe. And remember, check out the links in the description below for a worksheet on this material and information on how you can study with me one-on-one -on -one or join one of our weekly group hangouts. Have a wonderful day.